And hello everybody, thank you for coming by my channel and subscribing. I got you guys a brand new video today. Today's a little bit of a tutorial. It's more or less something to do with the Minecraft launcher. If you guys wanted to be able to play in say more or less the uh, alpha or the beta or anything like that. So today what I want to do is I want to be able to take you guys over towards that and show you this. Okay, so my reason for this is because I had this really interesting comment from this really awesome person btrda thank you so very much for commenting and subscribing to my channel guys we're up to 202 subscribers thank you so very much for subscribing to the channel my man all right so he wants he wanted to know if there was a download for 1.2.6 version of minecraft alpha because well we were started a let's play on this recently and it's going interesting. My part in this is we are starting to do a little as we're recording at the same time as this thing is going. So we got ourselves a couple of likes on this. Analytics is going pretty good. Don't don't mind us over here. This is all vidIQ. If you guys are interested in vidIQ, then go take a look at it. Uh, so this is everything. This is a little bit of a conversation. Show you guys this. I mean, it, it's honest and it's pretty good and straight down and to the point and I promised a guy yesterday that I would make a, a tutorial for this today so what do you guys say we head over to the minecraft launcher and let's show you guys how you do this okay so we're in the minecraft launcher now and you guys can pretty much see we got news we got skins now this stuff right here is basically your stuff your questions and let's not worry about that right now um, you can do your launcher settings. You can do your launcher options. Now, over here in the launcher options is where you want to do this. Normally, you will see enable snapshots is turned off, historical versions is turned off, and advanced settings is turned off. Okay. What you want to do is you want to come over here and you want to do this turn your snapshots on. You want to enable the historical versions. Hit OK and hit advanced settings hit okay now that will unlock basically everything that i have here because all this is basically is i have forge i got latest release i have a beta lp which is beta 1.7.3 i haven't played that in a while i got alpha 1.1.0 i also have a uh, lp of beta of alpha 1.2.6 okay so let's go ahead let's open this one up now normally when you don't have this installed if you don't let's go back over to launch options all right I mean well settings all right uh, where do we hit where do we see that at? if you don't have historical options on and you go to you go through this and you want to create a new one let's just say we add new and you scroll down through this you will not see any of the other things. I mean, you won't see snapshots or anything like that. So if I go ahead and hit cancel and I turn snapshots off and we go ahead and we hit add new again and we go look through this, you'll see only the releases of Minecraft, okay? It'll see release 1.0 and all that other stuff and things, but what you won't see is any of the snapshots Optifine is just something I downloaded and added to the game. So all you'll see in here is just the releases. You won't see Forge or anything like that. Those are just things I added to the game. All right. So what you want to do, like I said, we're going to go ahead and hit cancel here. Enable your historical versions. Okay. Historical versions is where you will get your alpha LP from. Now, whenever you do this, make sure you have a game directory okay so what i want to do i want you to do is i want you to go ahead minimize this real quick you're going to open up your uh minecraft folder so what i want you to do is locate your uh, minecraft folder we're going to go c windows users we're going to go david we're going to go app data uh, roaming Minecraft and let's just say we're gonna do this one right here all right let's just say we're gonna do a new folder and we're gonna say this tutorial okay we're just gonna name this tutorial all right now we're gonna open this up I want you to go up here I want you to copy this address 
All right, now go ahead and close that. Now open up your Minecraft launcher once again. Cancel this, but now we're going to create a new one. All right, now this one's going to go, call this whatever you want. We're going to call this one to tutorial, okay? Now you're going to go ahead and select your Minecraft alpha whichever one you wanted we can do alpha we can do beta for the sake of this video let's say we want to do alpha 1.2.6 which we already have one of those but let's say we wanted to go let's see here alpha 1.2.6 which we already have we're gonna say okay let's do game directory now I want you to come inside of here and I want you to highlight all of this hold the control key and paste that in there using control plus V now come down here to the JVM arguments this thing says two gigabytes of RAM it's already allocated to this you're just fine with that you don't need to add any more to it all right so you don't need to actually use that if you prefer to use Java runtime you can go ahead and use that um, you, you want to log your config, you can do that, but you're going to have to set a folder for that as well. Um, let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to go all the way back here to news. We're going to go look up the, we're going to go look up tutorial, which is set to alpha 1.2.6. And we're going to hit play and it's going to start to download for you. Let me just give it a moment to download. <laughs> All right. Now, you see this thing has already done its thing. Let's go ahead and let's just bring that up. We're going to do one of these with it. You can now open up your world. You can create a world if you want to. We'll go ahead and create a world. Because you don't have one. Now, when you first join into the world, you're going to notice right off the bat, wow, that's a bad spawn point. You do not have any music. You don't have any sound. Okay. Now, I am going to show you how to fix this. All right. There's no music for breaking blocks. I mean, there's no sound for breaking blocks. None of that. Okay. Let's show you how to fix this. Okay. So... And don't mind that right there. That's just a graphics card problem. All right, let's save and quit the title. Let's go ahead, minimize this. Let's close it. And now let's open up that Minecraft launcher once again. But this time we might not need it. So we're going to close that up. Again, I want you to go to your, I want you to navigate to your Minecraft.net folder. All right. So we're again, we're going to go users, David. Well, you're not going to have a folder named David. This will be based on your username. I'm going to go to app data, roaming, Minecraft. Now, this is the folder you're going to be looking for. It's called resources. Okay. I want you to copy everything inside of here. Okay. Now, I want you to go back to your .minecraft folder. I want you to scroll down to this one. It's called tutorial and you'll see another folder inside here called resources. I want you to paste it right inside of there. Now it's going to ask you if it wants you to add and replace eventually. If it doesn't, then don't worry about it. All right. Apparently we just didn't have no sounds for it, but give it a moment. And uh, I don't know why it didn't do anything. All right, let's go ahead and let's launch Minecraft again. I guess I did have sounds for it. It just wasn't working at that moment in time. All right, let's go ahead and launch this once again. Let's go ahead, bring this up. Let's go to options. There you go. You can see we had, we got sounds. Okay, we got sounds now. We got this on normal. We can hit done we have sounds bada bang bada boom now you got sounds and what that is that is something based on mojang 
because their uh, sound and their sound files they're just not downloaded properly. They don't download properly anymore. It's a bug on their part, and you can come back through well anything inside of Minecraft. And just, there's a tree over here. Let's go. Let's go chop a tree down together, guys. I don't see why not. Now, be careful because this is Minecraft Alpha and fall damage does happen. Not the best in the world, but you can do this. Now, you're going to need to copy those resources over for just about every single thing. All right, I got to look at something real quick. Um, we're going to go to controls. We're going to go to inventory, and you might always have to do this right here. Okay. Um, inventory key always has to be set to E. I mean, unless you prefer it to be set to I, I prefer to do that. Now, the only way you can save the game pretty much is by hitting escape. You just have to remember, always allow this thing to finish doing its thing. Once it finishes, go ahead, open your inventory. We'll go ahead, pull that sand out of there and hit escape. Pull that thing out. We're good to go. Let's take a look over here. Let's hold shift and look down. What is that down there? Well, it looks like there might be a cave underneath us, guys. Let's chop down this tree. This guy is very hesitant and really wants to give us some wool. <laughs> so we'll go ahead, we'll chop down this tree. And one thing to keep in mind is that in version in Alpha 1.2.6, trees did not despawn. You have to literally break every tree by yourself, by hand. Or you could use a flint and steel. I do not think there was any... Uh, I don't think there was any birch or... I thought there was sugar cane. I see it way over there. I thought there was. Yeah, I don't think there was any birch or spruce trees in this version. But if you guys want to play it, that's how you do it. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and exit this world, guys. We're going to let this thing do its thing real quick. But we don't need to, honestly, because we're exiting the game. We can just go ahead and save and quit. It does its saving chunks. And we're going to go ahead and exit. And one last time, guys, I want to show you guys this. Head over to this BTRDA guy's channel. Give him a big thumbs up. I'm going to go pause this real quick. Uh, head over to his channel. Give him a thumbs up. Subscribe to him, guys. He's doing a lot better than me. I got 202 subscribers. He's got 778. Clearly, he's doing something better than me. He's doing a lot better than me. Give him a thumbs up. Get, go sub to him, guys and uh tell them i sent you till next time have yourself a wonderful day this is the friendly neighborhood the hermit hood signing off and i'll catch you guys on the flip side oh and if you're wondering what my channel name is guys here it is the hermit hood see y'all on the flip side later